वेलकम जी लेट्स स्टार्ट अनदर डिजाइन पैटर्न दैट इज नोन एज ए फैक्ट्री मैथड पैटर्न और यू कैन से समाइम फैक्ट्री पैटर्न सो इन सो हियर फर्स्ट वी लुक द थ्योरी वट द पर्पज दिस डिजाइन पैटर्न सॉल्व and how we can implement azuleish okay so so from theory perspective this factory method design pattern help us to create an object create an object without exposing the creation logic to the client whoever are going to use uh, my class instead of that client know how to construct that class why not we offer as a factory factory is responsible to return the object and what are the way to build the construct a uh, build or construct the object that's we know not the client no client just know ki i want to the object how this object are you going to build that is the internal part so uh, the means that whole applications the object creation is another part and building the logic is another part so here factory pattern help us to isolation of the concrete classes and how these classes objects are created so purpose of this uh, factory uh, method is to create a separate uh, set of classes that classes is responsible to create object and the rest of the applications are just building the business logic whenever in which place they need the object th here they are just demanding from the factory factory hey factory i want such object just give me what is the way to create object we are not going to write here so as a business logic only concern on the developing a logic they are not thinking how we are going to build object okay the fact as in nation name factory this is a pattern also known as sometime factory method pattern or sometime only factory pattern or someone also known as a virtual constructor for creating any object generally we have to constructing the object so all the construction logic of in a class are a part in a separate class so this is known as a virtual constructor so purpose of this factory method design pattern is to establish a separate entity separate class that class is responsible to creating object not the whole application different different places you are going to uh, generally create object new class name new class name new class name new class name instead of that all the object creation logic should be in a separate component separate class and that class is responsible to deliver those create or return the object so this is the way you can just separating the business logic creation and the object creation pattern so this design patterns factory method pattern help us to isolate the object creation logic in the separate part and business creation logic in the separate part okay so let's uh, look the example generally what are the way to create the object so let's uh, we have a one interface like uh, interface shape very basic in interface and shape have a one method like a uh, straw okay up uh, this shape interface have a multiple implementation maybe draw can be class uh, let's key line implements your shape and just override Uh, line extra 
and draw the line. Okay. So similarly, this is kind of one implementation might be we have another implementation the line circle. Let's we have a circle. Let's uh, we have a, another class. Let's uh, is try and well okay uh, these kind of uh, uh, multiple implementation can be uh, let's uh, we have a one function static just white uh, draw shape draw shape uh, is a method okay then take a shape as a input and just invoke use shape dot draw this uh, method doesn't know which kind of uh, shape i am going to draw nay they know that they have a lots of implementation whoever the object they are going to the pass generally how will do generally uh, if you look uh, like uh, I want uh, uh, like uh, draw shape so you have to pass the somehow this interface object okay this interface object but you know generally name keyword used to create the shape okay but interface you cannot create the object it's the problem so who why not shape interface they are not defined the definition of draw function so who will give in the definition draw function given by line or you can say circle or rectangle so here we have to say i want to line so this is the way and here you can just pass the shape okay so this is the way uh, we can create the uh, implementation class object and assign the reference to the shape right so here your business logic you're drawing the shape but at the same time you are creating the also business uh, creating the object so why not this uh, maybe you want to another shape maybe circle so let's you pass us here another object so whenever you need you are first creating the object and after th that you are playing your business logic what do you want thus this factory method pattern help us instead of writing a whole in the whole application different different places you are writing a new line new circle new triangle why not this should be in a separate and concrete and isolation class that is known as a factory class this class is responsible just or business logic ask i need the object of circle they give me the circle so in here would be like a class uh, c factory and here you can say just one uh, method public that returns the shape and method may be get and that return the your shape but question is that this shape factory needs some input as a, as a here as a here uh, i want say factory dot get this should be static okay the say factory might know ki i want to get get but what kind of object you want i want circle i want line somehow as a developer we have to inform our factory so this takes some input type what maybe line maybe circle so best way to passing the input maybe you have just defined one shape type in you know. shape type shape type can be line can be circle can be tri triangle any can be 
Uh, so here we you know we just give the shape type shape type whatever type you are getting so general implementation is just make a switch case switch whatever type you are getting let's keep case whatever case case this then you will turn just a return new new circle if let's key we have a another case like line you return the line maybe you have a triangle triangle you return triangle so this factory if something not match then just return default as a null we have not found any object so what happened here say hey i want to shape type maybe circle and just want to draw shape and draw shape take this object and and now you are getting the same so you are circle is created let's okay let's i comment out so instead of you are creating own logic own we have here example very simple new object maybe some object need some set of steps to create the object maybe one or two line so instead of writing one two line code here that should be in a separate in this way you can create um, demand maybe line and you can do right in this way you are getting the output this should run yes right so the moral of the story is that all the creation logic of uh, this uh, shape type interface shape type interface may have a multiple implementation you want all the kind of implementation may be here the somehow in future let's give a new class uh, going to introduce one new class just implement a rectangle so here what happened if you need new implementation happen uh, let's you are trying to so first you have to introduce the new inner rectangle okay and here you say just like uh, I want uh, rectangle object okay the problem here is still you need to go to change the factory as well so whenever new implementation happen you have to change factory class as well as so here you have to add one more case more case like rectangle and you have to return the rectangle so whenever new implementation are going to create you have to change the factory is it any way instead of always going to change a factory why not factory offer some kind of a registration a new class is created for this uh, safe interface just you register yourself why need to go and change the factory so let's uh, look uh, instead of uh, writing this way uh, we are going to just uh, make a different strategy let's create a map of like uh, your uh, type maybe your uh, shape type shape type and second maybe supplier is the one interface I'll just explain supplier 
type sub euro save and this is just a map and just a new has f whatever the uh, uh, you know just uh, comment out so whatever you already know this kind of imp is just you register in the state static block like here uh, uh, we have an option like uh, shape type dot uh, line and here you can pass the line is here use the method reference shape type line and the line right in this way the so you are just uh, uh, there should be static right and in this way whatever the already known your uh, shape type you just register at the time of creation right let's keep initially three we have so we have created three right now our save factory method look like uh, this way instead of this we can say there would be like uh, they just uh, get from map map dot uh, get house whatever the type we are want and let's uh, define as a by let's check if uh, if this is the null means key there is a no any types of register so just throw exception throw maybe illegal argument exception say throw new video and say you know type found 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 uh, please register Let's register first. Okay. So here, whatever we know, so we can return, and else uh, just uh, return map dot type, whatever type want that get. So this is the way you have make a very generic factory. Just demand what type of factory want. He check if those is already available in my map they return if not available in a map just say please register first so we have provided one method like register that should be public static and return type uh, nothing just register and the register and you want to like a shape type what type shape you go to register type and supplier types or shape And here just you have to put map dot put and use a whatever type and supplier. Now, so this is the generic way. Now let's assume assume here uh, let's comment out. So here we know ki I have already line circle and uh, rectangle. If you demanding circle and line, it will return properly. Right? It will. But uh, let's keep uh, while the creation of factory, factory don't know other than this three, and you have uh, separately created a new rectangle. Okay? And if you run it, it will throw exception. Like uh, they say, he. Uh, like uh, no uh, any shape found for this types this should run first
right say if, uh, no type rectangle found please register first right so how to register there is a register function this uh, factory also registered whatever the new implementation class is going to add just the first register so before invoking we have to just register save factory dot register and what type save i want to register type triangle and uh, rectangle sorry rectangle and say rectangle dot dot whatever the business logic now your in this case you have created new class but you don't change the any factory now this factory become more generic if you just run it this factory can offer you the object of rectangle as well as maybe new class as well as uh, so let us i am now this factory is not going to change anywhere let's say i am going to create one more implementation like uh, just i have another type like a uh, square square new implementation square and now we know key we don't need to change just add one or what types and how we are going to you know first we have to register we, let's uh, if we try to same I need a square square uh, this will throw exception see they I don't have any I uh, square uh, object till now so first you have to register no type found for square so first you have to register just register as a square a square and after that you will get so in this way uh, our factory class is responsible to create the object in in which place in the application you need the object of shape interface just say hey factory I need the object of square I need the object of rectangle I need the object of line or I need the except whatever types this factory is responsible to returning the proper object and we have also also created this shape factory look like a more generic so here whatever the initially you know this uh, interface have a this interface uh, kind of have a four three implementation the three object you pre-created but after that you don't know key someone new object may be created maybe different implementation so before returning the shape object you have to check the particular types we support or not if you don't know through exception and requested please register and we have just offer one more register method so just specify this is a type and this is the new sub new kind of uh, implementation and now your uh, factory become a more generic and they always re now so safe factory you are not going to change anymore new implementation just happen happen you just add the new types and new implementation now your safe factory is responsible without any code changes can be returned the set of object for you whatever you want for the just you have to put one kind of a new registry new registry you have specified which types and what the object you want to register square object i want to register a rectangle want to register so this uh, help us uh, to creating all the best uh, object creation logic in a separate so this safe factory is responsible to creating object for your uh, shape type interface all the implementation of this interface you can create the object from here but you have to specify the input which types of shape you want and they return the object so hope uh, now it's uh, you are uh, very clear how you can define your factory so defining one separate factory class one static method that return the shape interface object and whatever the type you want just specify the type 
initially whatever the types you know just you manually put those registry in your map somehow and after that if a new implementation happen just a request to the client client hey client can you register your new type just to register here and now your factory is also able to return the object of that specific new data types new shape type so hope it's uh, uh, helpful for, for you and whenever you are going to uh, creating some generic uh, interface or abstract class and there are multiple implementation class and you want all the object creation logic should be in a separate generally this is the guidelines as a developer you should know ki we have to follow some kind of guidelines this is the one guidelines your object creation logic should be in the separate your business logic should be the separate this factory method pattern help us to isolate object creation logic in the separate factory class and your business logic in a separate business layer and this help in the future somewhere you a new data type come so instead of you are going to the searching all the places in the business logic and changing the uh, creating a new kind of a new object this is the very only one you know for this shape types we have only this factory just to go to the change in the factory and all the business uh, logics they have used to factory to demanding the object and they are getting the new updated e object okay so next time whenever you are writing you are creating a new object new object new object in in whole application please try to write all the object creation logic in the separate class that class can be your factory class factory class net take input what types of object you want and you can just return those types hope this video is helpful for you and again here like i would like to say Thank you for watching this video.